After a lunchtime recess on March 28th, jurors in a child molestation trial returned to their chairs inside the wood-paddled courtroom B on the third floor of the Bibb County Courthouse. Their seats faced the witness stand, and beside it on the bench, presiding Judge Howard Z. Sims, who was not happy. For a day and a half, the jury had watched the case against Ontario Kishon Smith play out. They had seen Smith, 24, take the stand in his own defense and deny performing sex acts with a then six-year-old boy two summers ago. They had also, the day before, heard that child testify. Among the alleged violations the boy spoke of, some involved Smith touching, as the boy put it, quote, my middle part and my butt. As judges routinely do when there are breaks or recesses in trials, Sims on numerous occasions warned jurors not to discuss the case with each other or anyone. But word of possible juror misconduct had the judge on edge. What happened next would be a reminder to jurors and anyone interested in the American justice system about how fragile and how important it is for juries to follow instructions.